Hi everyone, my name is Rob Budd. I'm the vicar here at Heathcote Parish Church. I wanted to record this video to explain to you how we're going to be doing church on the 6th of September as we all try and get back together for physical and public worship. There are going to be some changes, but the first thing you need to do is to go onto our church website and book yourself a ticket. Once you've done that, on Sunday at 10.45, we're encouraging everyone to come. You'll be met by a, a welcomer who's going to show you where to stand at a two metre safe distance before you can come into the building. So once here, you're going to meet another welcomer who's going to encourage you to put on the all-important face mask. And then after that, you'll be directed to the hand sanitising station uh, at the back here. OK, so once your hands are sanitised, you're going to meet another welcomer here. Unfortunately, in current circumstances, we can't go that way for refreshments, but the welcomer will show you to your allotted seat. The service we're aiming to do is for about 40 minutes, so we're hoping that not many people in that time are going to need to use the toilet, but if it is an absolute emergency, the accessible toilet will be available. OK, so once you've been shown your seat, um, we're planning to start our all-age services in September at 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, at this current time, we're not able to have the creche open and sadly not yet able to offer any junior church or youth church groups uh, for this current time. Hopefully that will change in the near future. In this service itself, unfortunately, another restriction is we're not able to sing together. So we'll all have our face masks on, apart from the person leading or preaching in the service. And yet we will still have times for prayer, for Bible reading, a talk, and time for space to encounter the living God. When the service ends, probably after around 40 minutes, uh, there'll be one of our welcomers again will come and invite each different row to leave at an appropriate time to keep the spacing happening. So that will happen safely. We realise not everyone will want to hang around to, to chat further. Sadly, the sports hall remains out of bounds, but we're encouraging anyone who would like to, outside on the grass, hopefully weather permitting, to chat and catch up with people perhaps we haven't seen physically for some time. If you've got any questions, please do email me and, and I'll do my best to answer the plan as I know it and understand it. But I hope to see many of you on the 6th of September as we come back together as a church family. God bless you all. So I've been thinking and talking with my family about whether or not I'm going to come back in September to the physical building of church. I've decided that I do want to attend one of the services. So I've jumped on our church website, the heathcoteparishchurch.org website, and I'm scrolling down to find where I can book my ticket. I see here it says click to book. So I'm going to come to this web page where I can then scroll down and book the Sunday or two Sundays that I'd like to come in September. Now I've read this bit here which tells me that I know that the service is going to be filmed and live streamed so my image might appear in the filming. I know that I'm fit and healthy and if anything changes then I won't um, I won't join and I'll, I'll email the church to say I'm not going to be able to come because I'm not feeling so good. And I also know that I'm going to take responsibility for the social distancing when I'm there and that the details that the church holds on me will be held for 21 days for track and trace purposes. So I'm aware of all those things and I've decided, yep, yeah, I'm still wanting to book my ticket. So I come down to this section and I can scroll and I can see I've got the four Sundays of September. Now at this point, I don't want to go back on the 6th. I want to watch that one live um, and see what it's like. So I'm going to book in for the 13th. So I'm going to click on the tickets here and I'm doing this ahead of time. So the last day that I really want to be booking for an upcoming Sunday would be the Friday before because that I know will give the church time to process things and make sure that we know who's coming and can accommodate people. Now, in my family, there are two people that are coming to church. So I'm going to book two tickets. So that's for me and Jess. So I'm then going to click register. If you are kindly volunteering and supporting 
during the services, then you may want to, um, well, you will know you'll have with your training, you'll know whether or not you actually need a seat during the service or whether your voluntary role means that you don't need a seat booked. So I can ignore these boxes because I don't want to sign up for any information. So I just leave those unticked. So I'm going, fantastic. It sent my tickets to my email address. So that's all I need to do. That's been processed. Um, uh, if you've got any questions with this, then do let us know and we'll um, do everything that we can to help you. If you find yourself suddenly unable to attend live church for whatever reason, do just send us a quick email so we can release your physical seat to someone else. Looking forward to seeing you on live streaming or in person soon.